This is a GPIO expander. You can use it to add additional GPIO pins to your project for the fraction of the cost of a microcontroller and is also much simpler to set up and use. In this video, I'm going to do a complete setup and demo of the PCA9535 IO expander from Texas Instruments. We're going to cover the hardware setup, the firmware setup, and in the end, I will use it to blink an LED and also one more surprise example. But before we go any further, please go ahead and drop a like on the video. It helps the channel out a ton and subscribe so you can stay up to date with any future videos. Okay, so let's talk about the PCA9535 and how it works. At its core, it behaves just like one of the digital GPIO pins that you would find on an Arduino Uno. It can be configured as an output pin and be written high or low, or as an input pin and read in high or low signals. There are two main steps to getting started with using this part. The first step is the hardware configuration. According to the datasheet, the PCA9535 can operate at an input voltage between 2.3 and 5.5 volts. For this project, we are going to use the 5 volt supply of an Arduino Uno, so we will connect 5 volts to the VCC pin of the IO expander and ground to the ground of the Arduino. Next, we need to wire up the two I squared C pins. Two 2.2 kilo ohm polar resistors should be connected to the SDA line and the SCL line respectively. The PCA9535 also allows us to set its I squared C address by pulling either high or low the three address pins, A0, A1, and A2. We also need to connect a 2.2 kilo ohm pull-up resistor to the interrupt pin to ensure normal operation of the chip. Finally, we are going to wire an indicator LED to P01 and a header pin to P13. The indicator LED will give us a visual indication when the pin is driven high and the header pin will allow us to send input signals to the chip to be read back to the Arduino. Now that our GPIO expander is completely wired up, we are ready to move on to the firmware development step of this project. In a nutshell, the behavior of the GPIO expander is controlled by making various I2C writes to specific registers on the chip. The PCA9535 has three main registers that are of concern to us. Number one is the configuration register. This register determines what pins are inputs and what pins are outputs. To set P01 as an output, we will write a zero to its corresponding register. Number two is the output register. This register determines the output value, aka high or low, of the pins that have been configured as outputs. To turn the LED on, we will need to write a 1 to P01's register to drive that pin high. And lastly is the input registers. This register displays the input values, high or low, of the pins that have been configured as inputs. We will talk more about how we read in data when we do the last demo example. Now that we understand how the various registers work, let's take a look at the code we will run to control the GPIO expander. For our first blink the LED example, we have included the wire.h header file in this sketch because we will be communicating with the IO expander via the I2C communication protocol. In this next part of the sketch, we have a sequence of I2C writes that we need to make to configure P01 as an output, and then another sequence of writes that we need to make to set the output as high. Then after a short delay, we have another sequence of writes to set the output as low. Congratulations, we have successfully blinked an LED using a GPIO expander. Now let's take a look at another example. In this example, we have written some code that will allow us to read in the input at P04. First, we have our sequence of writes to, to the configuration register to configure P04 as an input. And then the next block of code, we will do an I2C read from the input register. And then we will have a few lines of code that print the result to the serial monitor. Notice how whenever we touch five volts to P04, we get a high or one printing to the serial monitor. And when we remove five volts, we get a low or a zero. Congratulations, we have successfully used the GPIO expander as a digital input. And that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to cover in this video. 
If you want to learn more about how to use this GPIO expander, head over to the RGB Engineering Patreon, where you'll find exclusive schematics, Arduino libraries, and additional project walkthrough videos. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.